it's been a good year at the motorist but to end it off with a real big bang we wanted to drive something special something none of us had ever driven before so after doing some searching around we found exactly what we're looking for This is the McLaren 570S and we're here at Swatkorps Raceway to find out what it's all about. So I'm in the McLaren 570S which makes up part of the sports series of the McLaren range. So in a sense, this car is the baby McLaren. But trust me, there's nothing baby about this car. I mean, you've got a car that produces 419 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque. You've got a car that you can set up for the road or for the track. And I must say, the way they've set this car up, it is phenomenal. Having driven this car on the road and now being on the racetrack, you can really believe that this is a car that is really a Jekyll and Hyde kind of vehicle because it's got a different personality on the road. I've got some new school technology with an old school feel. I can set the car up between a normal mode that you use on the road, a sport mode that you can still use on the road but when you're driving a bit more enthusiastically and then I've got the track mode like what I'm using now. And here at Swartkorps Racetrack, trust me, <laughs> this track mode really, really works. I'm sure you've heard Cisco before talk about, you know, this is a, the baby of the range. There's, there's, that's absolute nonsense. There's no baby that can do 0 to 103.1 seconds because that's the 0 to 100 of this car. And it, yes, it's the, you can't even call it entry level. It's, it's the cheaper of all the McLarens. But don't, you're not going to feel short change. I can, I can assure you that. It's one of the best vehicles I've ever driven in terms of, how it feels, how it turns in. I mean, you just, you, you, it looks for apexes and it's just, it's just one of those cars that you don't mind breaking to set. I'm sure you can see it. You know, I've been sweating the whole day. I've been driving this car for most of the afternoon and it's just, it's mind boggling. Really, really, really is mind boggling. I mean, look at this. You just turn it into, we had Swartkorp Raceway and I think this is turn four, turn four, yeah. And it just, it bullies the road. It just, oh my goodness. Over the crests, hard on the brakes. Let's get it to move around a bit. It does move around a bit. I'm giving Sam such a hard time. Sam, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> so Richard and Francisco have given you their thoughts on this beautiful McLaren 570S. But for me, this is quite a special, it's quite a special day because this is my first supercar that I've driven properly on a racetrack. Um, we've done AMG GTS and things like the M5, but it wasn't, it wasn't like this. It wasn't a raw supercar. And I just want to give you a bit of the background about what this car is about. So it's a V8, 3.8 liters, and it's obviously a twin turbo as McLaren love to do. And it features 490 kilowatts, which is 560 brake horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. Now, believe it or not, this car is a little bit longer than a McLaren 650, but it weighs only 1300 kilos, and that's down to its carbon tub. It's got a mono carbon tub in this vehicle, which makes it light, it makes it extremely nimble. And when you're in this, when you're in this cabin, it's, it's a nice place to be, it's very cozy, it's, it's quite tight. It, it makes you feel one with the vehicle. But what I just love about this car, because it's got a light weight and it's got a lot of power, you just, it just, it absolutely flies. You hit the brakes. It's got an amazing front end, which enables this vehicle to just turn in so nicely. And then you hit the power on the apex and you're out of the corner. And then once again, on the brakes, down a gear, you turn it in, you just kiss that apex and you, and the, and the, the surge of power that you feel when it hits past 6,000 RPM all the way to a staggering 
eight and a half thousand RPM is something that is absolutely unbelievable. And you could do this lap after lap after lap. It's just sheer pleasure. And, and that's what you want when you buy a car like this. If you can go to the track and you can do this kind of thing, you're gonna be a very happy man. But if you wanna be that happy man, you're gonna need over 3.6 million rand. But let me tell you, if you've got that kind of money to spend on a car and you're looking for a car that's phenomenal, it's, it's got great power, it looks absolutely staggering and you can use it on a track but also gives you your daily drive, then this is something you really need to look at. So I think for once, we've all driven a car that we can all agree on. I mean, this McLaren, it really is something else. It's, this is the first time I've driven a, a, proper, a proper supercar yeah. on a track. So it's been, yeah. a, it's been a special day for me, yeah. but it literally blew me away, bro. Uh, the way it delivers its power, the, the front end, the chassis, especially with this carbon tub, it, it's phenomenal. I'm going to be the odd one out here. In what way? Because someone said, so, oh, the whole day, don't get me wrong, it's a phenomenal car. Yeah. Really, really is a good car. But someone said something to me, it doesn't make you giggle. What? But you were going no, on the whole day about how okay, good the on. car is. Yeah. Did you make you giggle? Yes. How? The sheer acceleration, I mean, 3.2 seconds. Yes, it's that's... quick. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. But did it make you giggle, though? No, for me, oh, I liked it. I really, Do really it. Do you know what it is it. for me? It's, it's a very efficient robot. No ways, dude. No it's ways. It's good. But Robot. dare I say it, it's not Ferrari good. When I put my foot down... What Ferrari? Sorry, sir. A 488 GTV. 488 GTV is 6 million rand. It doesn't matter. I'm talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking 0 to 100 here. No, no. You can't compare. You can't compare because if you're going to... Money for money, the only Ferrari you can get for this money is a California California T, which and is not special. And that's a car that. that your mom drives who's got tons of bucks. Let's be honest. California Turbo's for your Sam's mom. Sam's mom. Not your rich mom. mom. That's what it is. But this thing, for a car that you can use every day, and a car that's gonna set your hair on fire on a racetrack, I think it's fantastic. And I think it's a great way to I end the I agree with you. This is where you're not kidding me. I agree with him. You know, I agree with you. And the biggest question we need to ask ourselves now is, would you take it home? <laughs> Why are you both looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. I would take it home. It's a phenomenal car. Yeah. I mean, th there's no doubt about it. It's it, the way it puts its power down. Yeah. The turn in is fantastic. Everything's right about the car. Yeah. But for me, it's just a little bit too clinical. And for that, I'm going to say no. Sam? Um, yeah, I would take one home. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. But the attention this car gets, yeah. sometimes it's not worth it. You went, you went and filled this up with fuel and you got crowded by people. Yeah. So that's a negative, you know? So would you still take a Porsche Turbo, for instance? I wouldn't take a Porsche Turbo, I'd take a GT3. I Oof. Yeah, I take an RS. I take a GT3 yeah, RS. I mean, 3.5 million bucks, call it. I mean, that's that's a hefty price tag. For me personally, it's a new age supercar. Well, they, they don't call it a supercar. They say it's a sports car because you can use it on the road mm -hmm. and on the racetrack. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to call it what it is, this is a supercar. Mm -hmm. It's in supercar territory. Mm -hmm. Personally, I really like it because it's like a smart kid that, you know, still is just as good as all the beefy kids. Maybe I can relate to it somehow, I don't know. But um, I don't think so. But anyway, carry on. <laughs> but I think it's phenomenal. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I was blown away by this 570S and I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's our thoughts. Think what you want to think. Comment below and let you know what you think of the video. And we'll see you in 2017. Have a good December period and a holiday. Be safe, drive safe, and we'll see you next year.